Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. This is episode 7 of Sim Airport. A noob takes off. My first time playing the game. Uh, as I mentioned in earlier episodes, I am playing a simultaneous personal save just to try to figure some things out. Uh, like I just put in my baggage claim in my personal airport and there, were, there was a lot of trial and error because there are certain things you have to do that it doesn't really direct you to. Just taking a quick look at our grants. Yeah, we don't have two runways yet, so we're not worried about that. Build five stores. I don't think we're there yet. We're waiting for, oh, pay off any loans. Okay. So let's go ahead and start it up real slow. You know, when I first started this series, I thought about doing like a like a small rural airport is what I thought about doing. Oh, that's interesting. That actually that actually carries over from one save to another because I just put that on uh, yesterday playing my personal save and it stayed on. Interesting. All right. I think I'm going to go up to nine hundred dollars here and. $35 a passenger. Let's jump in here and take a look because I haven't played this in a little while. So, all right. So where are your passengers? Everybody, everybody is in through security. All right. You, all right, your last guy's coming up. You have some people in the cafe. And everybody's up here. All right, so I did note yesterday, possibly, I'm going to put another cash register up here. And then we're going to hire another retail worker. I was noticing uh, yesterday in my personal save that the, uh, did that take? Nope, it did not. Bye, thank you. All right, we'll speed it up so they can get that built. I don't think we're building anything else that I'm aware of. There we are. We'll get our new retail worker in here. Try to get people out of the store quicker. There we go. And remember, I'm trying this without cues. So we can... Uh, you know, we can just, I'd, I'd seen a video where it said cues were kind of not real good. All right, everybody got off. That's what we're kind of trying to hope for. We're getting the perfect op bonus every day, which is what we're shooting for. Now, these just arrived, so we're going to pause it. So everybody is through with the exception of two people. So you have one person just getting through security and one uh, through the check-in and one at the gate. And then you, everybody's in. All right, so, let's, so everybody's through there. All right, we've got 70 minutes left for that one waiting on baggage. Seems to be a good rule of thumb if you've got over an hour, 60 minutes or more. Just a rule of thumb for me so far that your baggage will arrive in time. Now, I am having some regrets over how I have laid things out already. Some serious regrets. Uh, I believe we are going to have to do a full revamp on this airport at some point. Now, what do we have in here? And a, uh, our apron buses, yes. All right, because we do have the remote gate out here, right? Yes. And is that full of flights? Not completely. We could probably fit one more. But it's just a uh, 1900D. That's 19 passengers, right? Yeah, I, I'm not feeling that. All right, we have uh, we do have sales reps. Do we have them assigned to every airline? This one does not. Affordable Air. We only have one flight with them. Now we've got three flights with these guys. 
Tell you what, we'll assign a rep there. The COO can go there. Aerostar doesn't have one. I really want to make sure all of the ones that have multiple flights have a rep of some sort. Now, here's what I don't know. I don't know if, it, if having your CFO and COO, having those guys are really smart, right? That's something I don't know. All right, let's take a quick look at our flights. We had 79 of... Oh, we were short here. What happened? They took off early. I don't know if that was overbooked. We had 79 of 75. We put too many passengers on the plane. Yes, because look, the second number is how many it's supposed to have, and then it's filling up. So that one overbooked. What was it? Standing room only? We have a band playing uh, in, in first class or something? That's interesting. All right. Um, where are we at on research? Tell you what. I want to go ahead and research advanced security. And 62000 Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do lower property taxes. So the advanced security, what that does, let's slow it down while we talk about it. Because, you know, you guys, I told you guys in the first episode, I play my games kind of in a teaching way. You know, it's a let's play, but I like to mix in tutorials as well. Uh, so we have the bag scanners, right? These only do one person at a time. We have these remote bag scanners. Look how long they are. And they can hold usually they're much faster probably three times four times faster the other thing is they're remote so what you do is you set up a remote security station and you put one guard at that desk and they can watch five of these so instead of having five security guards at five stations you have one guard at a desk watching five individual scanners now you still have one person at each metal detector that doesn't change but instead of having 10 people you only have six so you save four salaries and it processes faster so that's uh that's something to think about so i will want to switch over to those and our security area is going to be way too small and i'm not sure how to fix that what we may end up doing, I'm trying to think of how to salvage it. What we may have to do is widen this and then go down and maybe have security on a lower level and then coming back up into the terminal, which means we close this off to avoid, you know, we maybe seal this here or even here and then have this all open up into gate and we can maybe put shops and cafes in here of some sort because we can't go any farther north that's not going to help us any so maybe what we do is we go down here that's something to think about so come in through ticketing go down maybe put it fill this in and open this up out here and then have this go down. Same with baggage claim. Maybe instead of having this as baggage claim, put baggage claim a level down and have have it come, maybe an escalator coming up here to exit the building. Possibly, because I'm gonna have to get creative. I can already tell my zones are too too cramped. So, yeah, you know. All right, how are we doing here? So we had that one overbooked flight. That's weird. And let's see. We were supposed to leave at 12 a.m. We left an hour and four minutes early. And our last plane is supposed to leave at 11.50. And it's already gone. Let's pause it three minutes before. 
So we haven't built a lot today. <clears throat> so we brought in 279,000. We did spend the research. So without that, we would have say, had another 137,000. So it would have been a good day. All right, we're going to go ahead and slow it up. Five stores. We're not ready for that yet. We're waiting for seven days, but we have to pay off the loan. Where are we at on loans? 100,000. You know what? We just started the day. Let's pay off half, and then we'll wait another day. All right, they're stocking in the stores. How's our garbage looking? We've already expanded our road. Now, here's an interesting thing. I can't figure out in my solo save, I put, put this second road, but it does not connect out. It cuts off like right here. So everybody comes in and then they can get over. But it's like that at both ends. And I can't figure out how to expand that. Maybe I need to delete that road and then put it back in. I don't know. All right, we are researching lower property taxes. Advanced security is in the queue. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's 5.15 in the morning. I've been up since 3 o'clock. Just couldn't go back to sleep. So I think the one thing I have figured, you really want to get a third runway pretty quickly because that's where you'll start bringing in your money with your with your charges that you uh your runway and your terminal usage uh that is where your money starts really coming in what do we have to research to get early morning flights is it operations so also, real quick, we could build a standby gate because as you get more flights, whenever a flight gets delayed, what happens is the next plane can't land because there's nowhere for it to go. So you build a gate just like we have here. You put in de gate desk, you put in employees, and you can set it in your flight schedule here, like right here. We could actually set this as a standby in this downtime. And then if there's one of these flights, for example, can't land because of one of these, if there's a standby gate available, they'll land there instead, meaning you could still get your perfect bonus and everything else. So, but if you're not using it and planes aren't having to go to standby, then you're losing revenue from planes actually using it. So it's a trade-off. It is a trade-off. Um, hmm. I am going to want to start expanding this. I think we're going to have to give some thought to going to going down. Um, so let's start here and here. And you know what? We'll we'll fill that in. That's not going to hurt anybody. And then we'll break that apart. We're just going to have to remember to be smart about how we're going to do that. All right, how many workmen do we have? We've got 10. We are bringing in a good bit of money. Let's, let's up this to 15. Remember, these guys work your gates. Ooh, pause. How many people do we have out here? 111. All right. We've got the upgraded buses. Okay, so they're double-decker. I believe the bus holds 150, yes. So what we can also do is operations, I believe. Yes, if we research this, then we can actually speed buses up. Instead of every 20 minutes, it's every 15 minutes. All right, we're going to slow it down again. All right, we're going to do that. We have not researched that yet. I don't want to build stairs. We're going to do that. All right, we finished the taxes, so that's good. All right, so that's going. We're going to wait till we have... Uh... Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. So you can come in here, you can use this clone tool, right? So let's highlight that, and it just copies it. 
And then you can rotate it, everything else. But we're going to place that down in there. And then we're going to zone this as an office. And then we're going to go in and hire another sales rep. There you go. And then he'll show up there. And then what we can do is we can pop in here. And we had that one right there. Did not have a guy. We will assign him. There you go. All right, so our flights are at 73%. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. All right, let's look at our announcements. The cafe's covered, the store's covered, the gateway's all covered, down here's covered. All right, that's all secured. The environment is good through there. All right, so I think we're good. Right now, I think we're good. I really don't want to build anything right now. I want to build up our money a little bit. So why don't I pause the recording here, and we will come back um, once I have finished researching the escalators. This will be tomorrow sometime, so we'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, well, that didn't take quite as long because I went in with the new day and I paid off the last 50000 of that bank loan, and lo and behold, we got the $250,000 payout. So we should be able to go in here now. And those are done, and now we wait seven days, right? And then we get that bonus. Oh, did I just... Oh, I just screwed up again. I just did risky investment. No, I didn't want to do that. So, oh, so what is investing? You invest money, you put money into something in hopes for a big return. This risky investment, and we can look at Angel Investor. See how Angel Investor, you actually pay three quarters of a million dollars. And then at the end of the days, eight days, you'll get back either between 200,000 and two and a half million. Well, in this one, you pay out 250,000. And I think it's somewhere between 100 or 150 and 500,000. But we have to wait seven days. Oh, and I did that in my solo save too, and it actually bankrupted me because I didn't realize it was a $250,000 outlay. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. I can't take out a loan because I need to get that money back in nine days but now we're stuck waiting for gate fees to help us out escalators are almost done so i guess we'll hang with this we've got about eight minutes in the episode left and 21 minutes all right that's complete so let's slow it down now i think i want to use escalators because they're quicker escalator all right so an escalator down and we'll want it to face this way right because we'll want this to come up but i think we are going to want it back this way we can put one here how much are these Forty-five thousand. Huh, those are expensive but they are worth it compared to stairs all right so we're going to put one here I want them back here so we can stagger them because we're going to have to put multiples. So let's do them back here and we're just going to build the one. This is going to be a slow process of building this out because now we're expanding infrastructure and we're going below ground, which means more foundations. It's, it's going to be interesting. I wonder, one of the things we could do quickly or more quickly if we put we could do another gate 
I could do a large gate here. Let's do that. Taxiways. Now we're broke again. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to come up a level and we're going to have to build this. And then we're going to have to put some access. And I think we'll use stairs short term just because they are cheaper. Problem is, I don't have any. Oh, wait a minute. What about in here? Um, if I dismantle that, put a wall, and get that built. There we are. And then we could dismantle that. Uh, stairway up. We're just going to put one. Now, where does that go? Way over there. All right, not not the best location. Let's put that there. And let them build that. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come up here. And we are going to have to finish out this and that now what i can do with this is maybe extend this wall and make the restrooms bigger although these don't appear to be heavily in use all right now for this we want to switch directions red is down and green is up so these people will be entering down here right so we'll, that's that's just the first step. Now, how are we doing on money? Perfect op balance. We got twenty four thousand yesterday. Taking a look today, we are looking real good. You know the the you're tempted to cram in as many flights as you can, but that perfect bonus adds up every day and possibly is worth losing some revenue on the front end to pick it up on the back end and make sure all your flights are good because that also increases your uh and you see our day just switched so i guess every day that you get a perfect day it looks like it goes up right so that's possible and we just went down in money again well, I tell you what, I'm going to end the episode here. We've got to build up some money. So let me do that, build up some money. But what we're going to do next episode, is we're going to try to get this gate online. That'll be our priority. So we're going to have to build foundations here and then have that connect over to here where they can come out of the stairs and then down and into the gate and at least get this functional. They can still come up through security, and then they would come around and then upstairs here, right? So that gets another gate, all the flights that we can book there, and then that will help generate more revenue. So let me get, let me get to the point I can flesh that out. I'll go ahead and build the foundations, and then we'll come back at that point. So guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you've got any tips for me. Let me know, and we'll talk to you next episode. Take care. Bye.